Now let's find the surface area of a cone. Uh, if you'll notice, a cone has two parts to it. Okay? It has a circular base, and then it has this sector of the circle that makes up the outside of the cone. Okay? And to figure these two pieces, we've got some formulas. So anytime you have a circle, well, of course you're going to use pi r squared. And then for these, the uh, sector part of that cone, the part that makes up the outside, through the magic of math and the fact that this arc length it matches the circumference of the circle, we end up with this part of the formula here that calculates that lateral area of your cone. And that is pi times your radius of your circular base times your slant height. Okay, so there's only two pieces here. Okay, now honestly, this formula you can plug this into your calculator if you know what the la uh, the slant height is and you know what the radius is. You can just plug everything into your calculator just as you see it right there. Uh, we're going to do an example here in just a minute though, where we're going to kind of break it apart because you are going to have some composite area problems at some point where you have two different composite solids or, or two different solids added together. Like you might have a cone on top of a cylinder, but you don't see all of that when they're merged together. You don't see the circle on the bottom necessarily if it's on top of a cylinder, okay? So you want to be able to break these out independently. So just make sure that you understand that the pi r squared, that's the, that's the formula for the area of a circle. That represents your base. Pi r times the slant height, that represents the uh, sector, which is that lateral area. So we got the base area and we got the lateral area right there. So we're going to do a, an example here, and I'll show you how to just plug that into your calculator too, all in one shot if you want to. But let's break it out independently just uh, to know how to do that. So to factor the lateral area, again, we're just going to use this formula, pi times the radius times the slant height. Uh, we're given the slant height in this case. There are going to be some instances, by the way, where you might be given the interior height, and you're going to have to solve for the slant height. And if you ever have to do that, keep in mind that height on the inside that goes down the center makes a right angle with the base. So what we're using then is that radius and the height of that triangle to create a right triangle where you would be able to solve for that hypotenuse, which is your slant height. Now in this case, we don't have to do that, but if you ever have to do that, use Pythagorean theorem to solve for that slant height because you need the outside height, not the inside height. So in this case, we've got everything that we need. So we just plug this into our calculator. We got pi times our radius. Uh, which is half of the diameter. If you'll notice on that uh, circle, we're given 27, which is the width, if you will, or the diameter of that circle. So we need to split that in half. So the radius then would be half of the 27, which would be 13.5. And now we're going to plug that into our calculation. So we're just going to do pi times 13.5 times our slant height of 32.9. And again, while you're typing this into your calculator, use the real pi. So we have pi times 13.5 times 32.9, and that is 1395.34. So the lateral area, that's just this outside part right here, is 1395.34 square millimeters. And so the base is a circle, and again, area formula for a circle is pi r squared. Again, it's right here, that's your area of your base. So we got pi times our radius of 13.5 squared. If you factor that in your calculator, pi 13.5 squared, you should get 572.56. And then we just add those two pieces together. So take that amount, add the 1395.34, and you should get 1967 or 1967. 0.9, we'll call it, just to round it, uh, square millimeters, okay? Now again, you, like I said, you could plug this whole formula into your calculator, okay? And if you're doing that, just make sure you use parentheses, especially when you get here to that slant height, but you could do the whole formula, pi r squared plus pi r times the slant height. You can plug in your 13.5 squared plus pi times your 13.5 times in parentheses your slant height of 32.9. And if you plug that all into your yellow calculators and just hit enter, you should get the exact same answer uh, as we just found. 
So cones are, again, fairly simple. You've got some uh, formula there that you can use. As long as you have the radius and the slant height, you're going to be able to solve for the surface area of that cone.